Hello my fellow Canva geeks, how are you doing? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to transform this boring design into this elegant design you see on your screen and everything is going to be done in Canva. So make sure you're sticking to the end of this video because every single thing is going to be explained. Okay, so subscribe if you are new. If you're on the free version of Canva, check in the description box below for a special link. And yes, let's dive straight into today's tutorial. So as part of it, a link to these files have been linked down below. Okay, so once you check it out and you click on it, it should open a canvas for you with these resources. Okay, the first thing is with this image. Okay, and don't worry if you're in the free version of Canva, the background of this image has been removed for you. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so we have this one at the moment. Come to edit photo and come to magic grab. Okay, in magic grab, it should process the image and you should get this lady alone. You can now move her here and this is for those who are on canva pro okay yeah but if you're on the free version of canva i've done that for you already lovely jubbly so now we can just set the background color click on the background come to color and canva should generate these colors for you okay so we just click on any of the colors over here and let me delete this one at the moment okay that's interesting then what we are going to do is there's this light effect or light element we have over here okay but before we work with it let's just move it to the side at the moment and let's add our text press t on your keyboard okay and you can increase the size then you can just say anything at all you want to say lovely so i'm going to use the same name i used in the first design okay then what we are simply going to do is we'll just select all come to the board and make it bold okay then come to spacing if yours has enough spacing or too much space then you can just reduce the line spacing okay so something like this then you can increase the size so you see what we have at the moment i think the spacing is still too much so i would reduce it yeah and that is what we want at the moment then i'll add a hey, what did i just say <laughs> i'll add my second text okay so just add it over here and i can just say the woman the woman behind the show the woman okay so this is what we have at the moment and we can also add another text over here saying coming soon okay so this is just a sample text okay so now that we've done that we want to now add our light effect or our light element okay so i'll increase the light element and i'll drop it down a little bit okay and in this case i want to bring it to the front so right click layer show layers and you can see it's on top of every single element okay so i would want it to be bigger you know more yeah yeah something like this and i think something like this is fine i can increase this also a little bit and only if you can look closely you can see there's you know it's cut out over here so to avoid that we'll drop it down more uh -huh, so that we can have something like this and i can bring this lady to the front okay now the next thing we want to do is to match the color of the text to fit the light you know just to make sure it's blending a little bit with the light okay so let's do that so all i can just do is i want to make sure the text is selected so i can press ctrl while i click okay and you can see i have a selected text color i'll come to new color and i'll just drop this down a little bit uh -huh, something like this is fine okay then we want to do the same for the woman behind the shoe come to the color and we can you know just use the same color then for the coming soon as well so this is what we have at the moment but it's not totally blended okay but you know it would work out soon this is the interesting part of this particular tutorial we are going to now fuse in some shadows or you know some black areas so that the text can look as if some part is in the shadow and the light is being casted on a certain part because of the direction of the light okay so this is what we are going to do press r on your keyboard okay and increase the size like this okay then bring it here and make sure the rotation okay is matching the light okay then you can maybe drag it something like this which is fine then come to the color okay then set it to black okay then click on it again come to gradient the second color make it transparent all right so you should have something like this but you can see it's not really matching the light element so i'll increase the light element a little bit okay and increase the size more aha uh -huh. now this is our shape i can now bring it closer like this and you can see what it's making it look like at the moment okay 
So it's not really visible. Okay, so we will just duplicate it and I would place it right on top. Okay, so we have something like this. Okay, now what we want to do is we can reduce the size a little bit. Okay, move it to the top just so that it's blending nicely. Then what you can do is you can group it. Okay, so once you group it, select it and duplicate it. Okay, then you can move it over here. Then you can decide to just rotate everything. But you can see that once you select, it select everything together. So make sure you're very careful about the whole thing. So just select the text and rotate it nicely. Then you can bring it over here. But always remember that it should match how the light is. Okay, so this is how it's looking. It's not really matching the light. Okay, so we just have to ensure we can rotate okay so something like that and yeah this is how it's looking at the moment so you can see what we have right now so if we are to select and select okay you can see how the whole thing is looking this is too much to the top okay so we can just bring it down a little bit okay yeah and i think it's better now yeah i think it's better now okay yeah this is what we have at the moment then we can also increase this lady a little bit and we'll center her then come to edit photo come to adjust in adjust what we are going to do is we want to increase the saturation a little bit okay because she has to stand, uh, stand out okay then the contrast would also increase the contrast a bit because it would make some parts darker all right and uh yeah maybe the vibrance can also come up a little bit if you want to be very particular we can duplicate this okay and bring a part of it down over here okay you can see that it makes part of her dark and if we do the same over here it makes a part of her dark but that would mean that we will need to stretch this part out and send it all the way to the back okay and i don't think it's the best or you can just send it completely to the back and this is how it's going to look you get it but i don't think that's what i want to do i want to keep everything the way you know it is at the moment so this is fine and it's looking the way i feel like it should look all right so this is what we have done in this tutorial and i hope you found it helpful this is a very simple trick you can use to promote anything that has to do with coming soon and all of that you can use this to promote it and i hope you enjoyed it and learned something new in this tutorial the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace